Y'all, I am just so, so excited because one of the many things that I've been working on for quite a while now, and one of the things that I've been dying to tell y'all about, well, it's launching today and in this video. So let's get crafty. Hey, I'm Michael and this is Mr. Crafty Pants, where I show you crafty tips, tricks, and tutorials every single week. So if you're new around here, consider stamping that subscribe button and ringing that little bell for all of the notifications because y'all do not want to miss out on a single crafty minute. Y'all, I'm just, I'm so excited, so hyped up so like overwhelmed, so nervous. I'm like so many emotions and feelings all at once because out of all of the many, many, many things that I have been working on so hard for you guys behind the scenes, doing so in secret, wishing that I could tell y'all about all of them every step of the way. Well, out of the many things that's coming this year, Today marks the launch of the very first of those things. And y'all, let me just tell you, it just keeps getting better and better and better and better as the gear goes on. So buckle up y'all seat belts, but I'm just so excited for the launch of my pattern collection with 143vinyl.com. I really, really hope that you all love these as much as I love them and as much as I loved making them. They are just, in my opinion, gorgeous. They are spring themed and Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into them. All right, so here is the collection. Now, first one up, this one is called Busy Bee, and this is a white and black twall pattern. I am just a sucker for twall style of patterns, and I am just in love with this one through and through. And to follow it up is another twall style of pattern. This one is called Oh Bother, named after Winnie the Pooh. Y'all know I'm a Disney fanatic. I just love everything Disney related. And here is this pattern right here. We also have a pattern called Connect the Dots, and we have it in the white and black, and we also have it in the yellow and white right here. I'm just obsessed with all of these and I really, really wanted a collection that all goes hand in hand and complements each other and that all works together in unison and in harmony. And I really, really think that we landed on something that works. And so again, I really hope that y'all love these as well. Next up is a pattern collection called Check Please with Buffalo Check style patterns in the black and white as well as the yellow and white. And as we're going through this, if you're watching the premiere, make sure to let us know in the live chat or down in the comment section below which one of these is your favorite because I'm just, I'm dying to know. So next up is a pattern collection called Scratch That where it's like this almost a like cross hatched style of pattern in the black and white and yellow and white. Next up, we have some honeycomb patterns and this first one is called Hive It Your Way. <laughs> I know, so cheesy, but I just, I couldn't resist. So this is Hive it your way h-i-v-e the next one up is this pattern right here called honey i'm comb <laughs> i know i'm like so cheesy but i just i couldn't help it i'm just obsessed with these names as well this one is honey i'm comb and this last pattern which is probably one of my mini faves this one is called bees knees <laughs> And that actually wraps up all 11 of the patterns that are launching today. I could not be more excited. And all 11 of these patterns are launching in both a permanent adhesive vinyl as well as a heat transfer vinyl, AKA an HTV as well. And we're actually doing three projects today. So we'll actually be using both the HTV as well as the permanent adhesive vinyl. So make sure that you're staying tuned all the way up until the very end of today's project because I am saving my favorite project for the very, very last. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into Cricut Design Space and I'll show you the project that we're working on. So as you can see, here is an SVG cut file and I actually had this SVG cut file made custom for one of our projects tonight. Now, last time I launched a pattern vinyl and HTV collection, it was with Auntie Tay and so many of y'all reached out wanting to know if I could actually sell all the patterns as a bundle. So we're doing exactly that for you guys. Now, don't worry if you wanna go and purchase just one single sheet, just one single pattern, you absolutely can still do that, but we are also selling these as a bundle. So you can purchase the permanent adhesive bundle where you get every single pattern that I'm launching or, or that I'm releasing tonight, 
or you could purchase the HTV, the heat transfer vinyl bundle, where you get every single pattern that I'm launching tonight in the HTV version. And you'll also actually get three sheets of the heat transfer mask with that as well, which we will talk a little bit more about here coming up shortly. But whenever you purchase a bundle, whether it be for the heat transfer vinyl or for the permanent adhesive vinyl, you will actually get every single custom SVG cut file that I'm, I'm using tonight in tonight's projects, which I'm just so excited about. I'm really hoping that y'all love these as much as I do. Now for this SVG cut file, we'll actually be applying this to a t-shirt, just a regular cotton t-shirt. So what I'm gonna be doing is coming up here towards the top right hand side of the page and clicking on make it because we did already resize our design to fit onto our t-shirt. And since we are using HTV for this, this is where you would normally mirror your design, but we are not mirroring it today. This is a different style or different type of heat transfer vinyl. So we're doing this a little bit of a different way. So just stick with me because it'll make a, a lot more sense here shortly. So instead of mirroring it, I'm coming down here towards the bottom right hand side of the page and clicking on continue. Now for this t-shirt, I am using the bee's knees pattern, this guy right here. And the actual pressure setting for this or the actual cut setting for this is everyday iron on vinyl. So I'm gonna come right over here, select everyday iron on vinyl, and let's go ahead and load this onto our cutting mat. All right, so another thing to actually keep in mind with this particular type of heat transfer vinyl is that you would normally apply this to the cutting mat with a shiny side facing down. Well, there is no shiny side with this type of vinyl, and we're not actually gonna apply this with the pattern side down either. We're actually gonna be cutting this with the pattern side facing up towards us. Now let's go ahead and load this into our cutting machine and get started cutting. All right, so while that finishes cutting out, I'm gonna go ahead and preheat my t-shirt right here on my heat press. And just like usual, I'm gonna go ahead and flip my mat over and then peel my mat away from the vinyl, or in this case, the HTV, instead of the other way around. This just really helps prevent any damage from occurring to your mat or to your material. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and trim out our design from the rest of the HTV so that we can save that for future projects. And I am using the pin pin weeding tool right here to weed all this out with. All right, so here is our pattern HTV all weeded out. Now it is missing one thing, and that is a carrier sheet, AKA a heat transfer mask. Now this is very much needed if you are using this particular type of patterned HTV. Basically this acts like a carrier sheet, which would normally be the shiny side of a normal piece of like Caesar Easy Weed or Starcraft Softflex. But we're actually gonna take this, apply it to our design, peel it off of the backing sheet right here and then apply it to our shirt. So for that, I'm gonna go ahead and just roll this out. And one of the things I really like about the heat transfer mask is that you can use this stuff over and over and over again. So if you actually purchase the bundle of patterned HTV, you will actually get three sheets of the heat transfer mask included in with that. And again, you can use that over and over and over again. So it will definitely last you for all 11 patterns and, and then some. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just trim this out just enough to cover up our design here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and peel the paper backing off of the heat transfer mask. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to our pattern. So I am gonna apply this just by kind of folding it a little bit in the middle and then just kind of pressing down and then letting it slowly roll out. I am also using a squeegee tool from 143vinyl.com. I'm gonna burnish this down to our design. And I'm gonna flip this over and then peel the backing paper off of it. All right, so that is all now onto the heat transfer mask. So now let's go ahead and apply it to our t-shirt. Now, as far as the heat press or easy press settings, I am setting that to 300 degrees and the timer to 15 seconds.
All right, so for our second project, we are making labels. It is springtime, everybody is spring cleaning, everybody is organizing. I mean, it's a perfect time to make up some new organization labels, right? So we are actually making some labels for some canisters like this right here. So let's go ahead and hop over to Cricut Design Space and get started. All right, so if you'll take a look right here, here are all of the label templates that I actually had custom made for this project. And if you do purchase one of the pattern bundles, whether that be a permanent adhesive bundle or an HTV bundle, you can actually get all of the SVG cut files that I'm using absolutely free. So as far as the label template that I'll be using for today, I think I'm gonna go with this one right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that and then come down here and select insert images. All right, so if you take a look over here, you can see that I already have the different types of labels ready and waiting off here to the side. So what I'm actually gonna do is bring one of these over here and on top of our label. So let me go ahead and right click our label, select send it back, and let's go ahead and drag flower over here and on top of our label. All right, so what I'm going to do first of all is actually click and drag over our label and over the word flower. And then I'm going to come up here towards the top of the canvas, select a line and then select center. I'm going to select a flower again. And then I'm going to come up here towards the top of the canvas, select offset. And then right over here, I'm going to clear out these numbers and we'll type in here 0 0.05. And then I'm going to go ahead and select apply. And you really can't see it too well because it is gray on gray, but there is a shadow offset that is surrounding our letters here. So if we'll take a look over here in the right hand side of the page in the layers panel, we can see where the text offset is and we can also see where our label is. So what I'm actually wanting to do is click on the text offset and then holding down the shift key, select the label right underneath of it. And then I'm wanting to come down here towards the bottom right hand side of the page and select slice. And Slice essentially acts like a cookie cutter of sorts. So we can take a look over here in the right hand side of the page in the layers panel and we can see the slice result right here. So we're gonna go ahead and select that and then hit delete. Next up on the layers panel is the actual label itself. So we're actually gonna skip over that and then come down here to where the next slice result is. And let's go ahead and delete that out as well. So now if you take a look over here at the label, you can see that our text has this nice little offset or the shadow or outline that really helps the, the text itself pop up off of the surface. So what we're wanting to do now is go ahead and do this exact same process for some other labels and we'll get started cutting. Let's go ahead and click on make it. Then on continue down here at the bottom right hand corner. And for the cut settings, since this pattern vinyl is actually printed on StarCraft HD, which is my favorite permanent adhesive vinyl ever. By the way, fun fact, this collection of patterns is the first ever collection of patterns at 143 vinyl that is actually on the matte StarCraft HD permanent vinyl. I mean, I, I just had to ask for it, right? <laughs> so since this is the StarCraft HD, we're gonna go ahead and cut this out on premium vinyl. So we're gonna come over here select browse on materials and do a search for premium. Now, according to this, we are cutting out the words first. And so for the words, we're actually gonna be cutting that out on the black matte Starcraft HD permanent adhesive vinyl. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the mat and we'll get started cutting. And for the actual labels themselves, we're actually gonna be cutting that out on the Oh Bother pattern, this little twall pattern right here. And per usual, we're gonna go ahead and flip the mat over and then peel the mat away from the vinyl. All right, so I am again grabbing my pin pen weeding tool and we're gonna start weeding out all this vinyl. All right, so since we are done weeding everything out, we're gonna go ahead and transfer this over to our glass canisters. Now our canisters have already been wiped down with some rubbing alcohol. And what that basically does is it removes any dirt, oil, grease, grime, anything that would prevent our vinyl from fully curing and adhering to that surface. Now to actually apply this and to actually layer our vinyl, we are using the parchment paper layering hack. And so if you're not familiar with that, make sure to check that out. I will link a video for you right up here, as well 
is down in that description box below. Oh, and for our transfer tape, we are using the clear medium tack transfer tape. This stuff is my favorite and everything that I use or list or mention will be listed and linked for you all. Sometimes even with a promo code down in that description box below. And by the way, you can use my promo code, which is crafty to save an additional 5% on everything from 143vinyl.com, including my line of pattern vinyl and HTV. All right, so last but not least, we are actually making a door hanger, but we are doing it with this cutting board right here from Ikea. Now I have already painted this and I have already went over this with a satin top coat. So this is already primed, prepped, ready for our vinyl. So let's go ahead and hop over into Cricut Design Space and get started. So this is another SVG cut file that I did have made custom for this particular project. And again, if you do purchase a bundle of patterns, whether that be with the permanent vinyl or with the HTV, you will get all of the SVG cut files that I'm using absolutely 100% free. And they do come with a commercial license as well. So what we need to do is actually resize this to fit onto our door hanger slash cutting board. So this is 11 inches wide. So what we're going to do is actually resize our image to be 11 inches wide. So to do that, I'm going to come up here towards the top of the canvas right here where it says size. I'm going to clear out those numbers, type in 11, hit enter, and there we go. It really is just as simple as that. So I'm going to come up here towards the top right hand side of the page, click on make it, and come down here and click on continue. And again, we will be using the premium vinyl setting for our permanent adhesive pattern vinyl since this is the StarCraft HD. So for the actual white honeycomb section, this section right here, we are going to be using the Honey I'm Comb pattern, this guy right here. So let's go ahead and load this onto our mat and get started cutting. Now for the black layer, we are using the StarCraft HD in the matte black. Okay, again, we're gonna flip this over and then peel the matte away from the vinyl. And for our last section, we'll actually be cutting this out on the check please in the yellow. All right, so everything is all weeded out now. So we're basically gonna go ahead and apply this all to our cutting board, basically the exact same way that we applied everything to our glass canisters. The only exception is we're not gonna wipe this down with alcohol first. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and decorate this with some ribbon or bows and we'll be done. Now to decorate our door hanger, I am using a stable gun to attach a pre-made bow to the wood. And I'm also just attaching some greenery in here as well. And then I'm gonna string it all up with a matching ribbon. I cannot even begin to tell y'all how much fun I had creating the spring themed pattern collection for y'all. I had so much fun and I absolutely love, love, love 
all these patterns and SVG cut files and I honestly just really really hope that y'all love them as much as I do. If you did please let me know down in the comment section below which was your favorite and also take two seconds to stamp that like button if you haven't done so already. It really does help me out so much here on YouTube and I just cannot thank you enough. Also while you're at it if you're new around here to this channel consider taking another two seconds to stamp that subscribe button and ring that little bell for all of the notifications because you do not want to miss out on a single crafty minute. Don't forget that everything that I used or mentioned in today's video will be listed and linked with a discount code if applicable down in that description box below. Also anything from 143vinyl.com including these patterns those will also be listed and linked down there. And you can also use the code CRAFTY to save an additional 5% on your entire order. And it will also help support this channel at the exact same time. So it's like a win-win and I just cannot thank you enough for that. I just love y'all to the freaking moon and back. I just love you to pieces. And until next time, stay crafty.